Hey, everyone. Welcome back to another Facebook Live. I'm your host, Jess. And I'm your host, Lauren. And today is super, super special because this is our last Facebook Live of 2023. Everybody we can do a little woohoo shout. <laughs> um, really glad to um, be wrapping this one up with a bow and talking about some fun things that we did at Penn Foster this year. But before we jump in, as always, Lauren is going to give us our Facebook Live tips. So take it away, Lauren. Thanks, Jess. And thank you all for joining us. I think, you know, when you're coming to the end of a year, it's definitely a good time to reflect and and think about all the awesome things to celebrate or think about maybe some of the reasons why you're excited to leave the year behind and, and move on to the next one. But, um, you know, we're here to to celebrate some of the good moments together and we really want it to be a conversation with all of you. So um, we'd love to know what your met resolution was what your big accomplishment was or the thing that make you made you most proud especially you know extra points if you want to tie it to uh your pen foster education and keep it relevant to the conversation but please drop that in the comments we would love to see it and celebrate together just don't uh leave any personal information down in the comments because they are public um, so if you'd like to talk to us related to anything um, that has to do with your account, you can give student services a call at one 427 1000 And if you are not yet a Penn Foster learner, but you're, maybe your New Year's resolution in 2024 is to become one, give admissions a call at one 427 6500 and we can chat. Um, so today we have a lot to cover. We'll talk about um, the new things that we did this year, uh, recap a little bit, and what to look forward to next year. Um, so let's begin with some things that were new in 2023. Jess? Yes. So 2023, we had a couple really cool new things happen here at Penn Foster. If you follow us on our social channels, um, we love to blast these things all over the place. But just as a little recap, um, the year went by so fast and really? we, I cannot even believe it's December already. I feel like I blinked my eyes and six months went by and I'm sure a lot of you out there feel the same way. And in terms of Penn Foster and the things that we did this year, we did introduce two new programs. Um, they're two, they were two new skilled trades program, both facil- facilities maintenance and CNC operator were launched this year to help more students prepare for new careers in growing industries. So we always like to keep, you know, keep an eye on what's trending, what's coming up, what's new and give our students and potential students a leg up in these new industries. So really excited about launching those two programs this year. And another new thing that we launched was our chat bot. So here at Penn Foster, we're always here to help you succeed. And besides being able to contact your instructors and student services for help, we started a new chatbot feature to help you get the answers you need right when you need them. So hopefully if you have visited the chat bot and have talked to it. It's been a good experience for you. We've seen a lot of students get really great feedback and be able to actually get a response a lot faster than potentially messaging our social inboxes and things like that. So those were some of the new things that we launched and announced this year that were really, really cool. Definitely were cool. Um, And then there's some other fun things that happened in 2023 that I would love to talk about as well. Um, In addition to the new things, for me, biased, um, the most exciting thing that happened during the year was kind of new, kind of old. Um, Since the pandemic, we hadn't been able to host in-person graduation ceremonies just um, with everything going on in the world. And you know, it just, it wasn't the right time, but we brought it back in 2023 and we had our largest celebration to date. We had over a thousand graduates walking the stage in person in Scranton, Pennsylvania on July 29th, um, and over 4,000 friends and family members in attendance to cheer on their grads. So, um, you know, I was there, it was absolutely 
incredible. Like, it's hard to even find the right words to describe how amazing it was to watch everyone graduate in person. We had a live band. It felt more like a party than what you might think. It was in many ways a traditional graduation, but in so many ways, it was just that extra special celebration with the live band. Um, there was so much like mingling and friend making happening in person that was just so incredible to see. Um, and then so many of our grads, even those that didn't attend in person, got to celebrate in other really cool ways. We saw over 31,000 people watch the live stream. So hopefully out of everybody viewing, um, some of you maybe were friends or family members of our graduates, and maybe some of you were graduates and were celebrating at home and wanted something to live stream. And that's so cool that um, you know, so many of you tuned in to do that. Uh, it was just such a special day. Um, we also had our graduate of the year. Um, so this is an award that we give out every year. And there are many of you that apply. We have our finalists and then one winner. So our winner, Sydney, this year was amazing. You can listen to her story on, if you search uh, Penn Foster and SoundCloud, you can listen to her story. She's incredible. And it was amazing to celebrate her. We got to meet her during graduations. She was there and, and she's so deserving and amazing. Yes. Um, and then there was also the virtual yearbook, which was um, something that every graduate got to participate in. We saw tons of amazing submissions of graduates sharing their stories and their photos. So I think as I reflect on the year, it's really celebrating all of you and your accomplishments that truly made it so special. So special. Um, and then Jess, you know a little bit about uh, Motivate to Graduate, which is another cool thing that uh, we did for high school this year. Yes. So Motivate to Graduate was kicked off this year for the first time. And it was um, something that we decided to do to try to help all of you out there who are currently working through your programs and aiming to graduate to give you that little bit of extra motivation. Um, so we asked current Penn Foster High School students to pledge to this challenge to, um, you know, just continue to progress through their program when you hit those hard um, lessons or those hard courses that you don't know if you can make your way through. And since everything is self-paced, there might be things that you get stuck on and then you kind of put it to the side for a little while. And we wanted to tell, show you that progressing through those programs and working through your sticking points can really pay off in the end. Um, so with this challenge, we had over 5,000 students pledge to, you know, motivate themselves, motivate each other to get to the end of their programs and it was really exciting to see the response because we weren't sure um being it was something new that we did this year how it was going to go so seeing so many students pledge to their own success is so unbelievably motivating and humbling just to know that there are so many of you out there who have made such a commitment to yourself because you know a lot of us out there we have kids or parents or family members or you know demanding jobs and things like that that you give your effort to and you don't really invest time into yourself so giving everybody out there the opportunity to not only do that but to possibly win a fun prize at the end um, was really exciting so shout out to anybody pledged to the motivate to graduate challenge if you are let us know in the comments um and let us know how your progress is going, because we are really excited to see how everybody ended up progressing towards the end of the year. Um, and I just wanted to say, too, when with the virtual yearbook, we'll drop those links in the comments, because the thing that's awesome about our virtual yearbook is since with a Penn Foster program, you can graduate at any time. Um, there's no specific time where you have to send in your photo or submit to be part of the yearbook. You can do it at any point. So if anybody watching is a recent graduate who has not signed to the virtual yearbook, um, check out the links in the comments and drop a picture of you holding your diploma, leave a little quote. You can respond to other students. It's a really fun and interactive virtual experience for. Um, anybody who graduated this year and if you want to continue to celebrate yourself um so that was a lot i feel like obviously like like you said lauren the graduation was something that was old but new and it was amazing to see the response to 
um, you know, our to it being our biggest in person graduation thus far. Um, just just really incredible. So shout out to anybody who was able to walk across the stage this year. And um, now that we only have give or take a couple weeks left in the year. Um, we are at Penn Foster anyway, are starting to look forward to what is going to come up in 2024. So Lauren, what are some things that we're really excited about going into a brand new year, fresh canvas, ready to go? Yeah, I think, um, you know, a lot of what you said, Jess, definitely like rings true about how awesome like graduation was and celebrating all of you. Um, you know, as you all think about your success and what you want to accomplish next year, um, you know, the the signing of the yearbook or the walking across the stage, whether like at graduation or at home, wherever it happens, it's really because you took the time to better your life. And hopefully better your confidence and and better your skills and your knowledge and um, really everything that we do and everything that you do all centers around that. So at the core of everything that we're looking forward to, uh, that's what it is. Um, but there are definitely a couple things we wanted to call out. One is if you are a graduate or if you're almost graduated or if you're you know, a, a newer student and you need some motivation, we do have our alumni spotlight podcast currently. That's getting a nice revamp in 2024 to just include some more content from students and alumni like you. Um, and we'll also be talking to a few of our instructors so you can get to know your teachers better, learn more about your programs, and maybe even get a couple of motivation uh, tips and tricks in there. So we're really excited about that. I think that's just another great way, in addition to everything that we mentioned, on how to stay connected and engaged even when you're online. So pretty cool there. Um, we talked about Graduate of the Year as something that was really cool last year, and we'll be doing it again next year. So we'll begin the search for our next Graduate of the Year winner soon. So keep your eyes peeled on social for that. Um, and as Jess mentioned, the virtual yearbook. Um, Again, all these things are kind of like markers of success and it's kind of like resolution accomplished, goal accomplished. Um, but what that means for you in your life is just so much bigger than that. And that's really what we love to see. So um, we're really excited about all of that. Um, you know, we're really looking forward to just continuing to celebrate your success, whether that means finishing your diploma, getting a new job, getting a promotion, or just feeling really awesome that you passed a difficult class or you mastered a new skill that was a, a bit challenging. Um, we love, you know, helping you and being part of any way that we can on your journey to success and then seeing those accomplishments. So share your pictures on social media, tag us. Um, we always love to hype you guys up and, and see what you've been up to. So we're just really, I think, at the core of it, looking forward to continuing those connections and hearing from all of you. And that being said as a list, I'm sure there'll be much more coming. <laughs> um, you know, there always is. Uh, there's always stuff that we're working on. So uh, definitely keep your eyes and ears peeled on emails or social media pages um, as things progress, you know. There's, all, there's always stuff, um, but we know we'll be planning our New Year's resolutions. We hope you're planning some good ones, um, and we're here for you every step of the way. Jess, anything to add? Absolutely. I'm just so grateful to get to constantly see all of your successes across social media. I We love it when you guys tag us in your posts and in your pictures. So please continue to do that. If you haven't yet and you have graduation photos or just a picture of your diploma and you want to celebrate, be sure to tag us on Instagram or TikTok or Facebook, anywhere so that we can see your successes and share them with the masses. Because in addition to us loving to celebrate everything that you guys do, another thing that I really love is the way that students and Pen Fo the Penn Foster family celebrates one another. So every time we post a graduation photo on Instagram or anywhere, you know, tons of students come out, congratulations. And it's just goes to show that community on even 
distanced on the internet is is so important. So we're proud of you. The rest of your Penn Foster alumni family is proud of you. And we can't wait to see what 2024 brings for Penn Foster, what 2024 brings for you. And we hope that you'll continue to join us for these Facebook Lives in 2024. Um, Lauren and I will be here um, to give you guys all the, the tips and tricks and just continue to share all the good word of Penn Foster with you all. But I think we would love to just take this opportunity since it's the last time we're going to be talking live until 2024 to wish everybody a great holiday, um, a great rest of your December and um, a great new year. And we'll see you next year. Everybody's favorite joke. (laughs) Yes. Happy holidays. A very happy new year. Um, hopefully you get some time to check off anything that you you want to close out the year with, but also some time to rest and relax and, and rejuvenate for an awesome 2024. We'll see you guys soon. Bye. Take it easy. Bye.